today's readings, reminding us God is our good shepherd and how he is concerned about his sheep. Also, it's challenging. We are all shepherds. And God has entrusted sheep for our own care. Because with the baptism, we become priests, prophet, and king. We we are interested with the mission and very often we don't think about it. And today's reading is reminding us it is not a small thing. It is a very important thing. If we don't take the challenge, responsibility, in its own seriousness. If not, we will be answerable in front of God. As a family person, as a lay person, brothers and sisters, and as a priest, we have a mission. Because God has entrusted sheep for our own care, which we have to care, take care, lead them to Christ, protect their soul. That's the mission God has interested all of us to do. The first reading we heard from the book of Prophet Jeremiah spoke about how the leaders of the community destroyed their sheep. And uh, also Prophet Isaiah says, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, a right shepherd. And the response real shall be heard, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The real true good shepherd. And St. Paul said about in Ephesians chapter 2, the real shepherd, Jesus himself became. And today's gospel, it's a very beautiful gospel. One of the gospels, passage I really like because Jesus said sometimes we can be careless in everything we do and we don't take care of ourselves selfishness no self-care is not selfishness if we don't take care of ourselves we won't be able to take care of others because Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself. That means if we don't love ourselves, we won't be able to love our neighbor. Charity begins at home. Everything begins from our own personal conversion and personal relationship with God. It's two-sided. The beauty, the duty of the church is always teaching, at the same time nourishing. Eucharist, every time when you come, you hear the word of God, at the same time, the Lord is also spiritually feeding us. So Jesus said to his disciples, the disciples said, we are so busy, too many things are going on. But Jesus said, Come away, 
I yourself, be yourself to a lonely place and rest for a while. Rest and relaxation is part of God's plan and very much at the heart of Christianity, the spirituality which Jesus has designed for all of us. We need it. If we don't do that, we will lose the rhythm of life, balance of life. That is why we know that Sabbath. God created everything and God said, now rest. And rest is also associated with connection with God, communion with God who created us. That's the time we communicate with the Lord. And sometimes today's world, we are not getting quality time for ourselves. We are not realizing it because we are so distracted with our many gadgets and many things in a way the devil is not allowing us to spend time for ourselves. When we spend time for ourselves, in a way we are spending time with our Lord because we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. God created us for his greater glory. And that's the way we become true missionaries. I already mentioned Brother Shaji, who died at the age of 27, 26. What a great missionary seed he had. And before his death, five days before, he, he told me, look at, I have given all my life to Jesus. Why can't you give your life? It was quite challenging. But I accepted the challenge. And God rewarded him with a hundred folds or more. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today the theme, don't forget, God is a good shepherd. And don't just leave it to him. Don't just leave it the admission to only just for the priest or someone who is, you know, doing a mission work. But we are all missionaries. God has entrusted many souls in our care. We are there to support them, help them, encourage them, and be with them, not to destroy them. Perhaps during this Mass, we can pray for the grace to be faithful to God. To faithful shepherds for the flock God has entrusted all of us to do.